Hey everyone! In this video, I'll be showing you how I made this Beauty and the Beast inspired miniature serving cart as well as Mrs. Potts and her son Chip. This video is a collaboration with the Square Despair who also created something Beauty and the Beast inspired, the wardrobe. Check out our channel to watch how she makes amazing modern miniatures with a pop culture twist. I'll leave links to both her channel and her video for this collaboration in the description box. I started out as I always do, drawing my dimensions on graph paper to the exact size of the miniature so I can use my sketch to make precise cuts without having to calculate scaled dimensions on the spot. Most of the cart is made out of skinny sticks and popsicle sticks, as well as some other pieces of wood found at my local craft store. You'll always see me adding on an extra millimeter or two so I can file my pieces down as needed in case my dimensions change as I'm working. The first things I made were the trays attached to the cart. Cut out the four sides for each, sand them down together, and glue onto the base. I use right way, right angles to get a near perfect 90 degree angle. The top tray was filed down to the same design found on Mrs. Pot's serving cart from the movie. I made the wheels next. The circles can be found as is at a local craft store as well. I traced the size of the circle I wanted to carve out and used that as a template to carve the other four simultaneously. I drilled a hole in the middle of all four circles by wrapping them in masking tape and using the circle's centrifugal force to keep my drill bit centered so all holes would match up perfectly, thus the cart rolling properly. I put the wheels aside for assembly later and started working on the four curved pieces that will support the top tray. I carved them out together to ensure perfect replicas as the outcome. These took so long to do. Next, the cart handles. I changed the design last minute because I thought there would be too many curves going on. Cut out two handle patterns and drill a one and a half millimeter hole into both so the handlebar fits snug when glued inside. File down a one and a half millimeter dowel rod as the handlebar. I then file down two more rods of the same length to be glued underneath the cart for the wheels to roll on. Create a groove under the bottom tray to attach the rods later. I drilled a one and a half millimeter hole into a tiny dowel to create bolts. We'll need four for all four wheels. Adding these bolts will keep the wheels spinning free. With all the pieces made, it's time to paint them. I used a mixture of three different paints and added about 20% water so you could still see the wood streaks underneath. Here's everything deconstructed and ready for assembly. This is totally optional, but for realism, I added a strip of this black microfiber cloth to be used as a tread for the wheels. It glues well and hardly frays, so it worked as a last minute addition. Glue the two rods from earlier in the grooves under the bottom tray. Give tolerance at both ends. Slide on the wheels and glue the bolt on the other side. We've securely sealed in a free spinning wheel. Find the center of the curved supports and glue on their counterparts. Glue the supports into the bottom tray and glue the top tray onto the supports. The serving cart is done! Now onto the two-piece tea set. I made the bases first, 
Originally this was going to be a four piece set with cream and sugar holders. I changed my mind halfway through making these pieces because I wasn't going to make them hollow inside, so I opted for the most important pieces, Mrs. Potts and her son. This is honestly my first polymer clay piece I've ever made, so I don't have years worth of knowledge to give you, but I do have first time experience knowledge. I sanded down everything. If I couldn't get the shape right before baking, I just filed away all of my mistakes. Woodworking has made me a control freak. Clay is fragile and you basically can't touch it ever. Also, my craft room has so much dust. Nowhere is safe. I attach the tops and bottoms with liquid Sculpey. Next up is painting our baked pieces. I mixed up a purple that I liked and went at it with fine detail brushes. They have a pretty design on their bases with gold trim and gold handles. I left these pieces faceless, but I added Mrs. Potts blush marks just to add a little bit more character to the set. And finally, after everything was done drying, I coated the tea set with polycrylic glossy finish. This set came together better than expected. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please go watch The Square to Stare on her channel. Her piece for this collaboration is fantastic. Again, links to her channel and video are in the description box. I truly enjoyed working with her to bring you guys great content. You'll see me soon. Bye.